Joining me now are Mr. David Carroll, who is with the SBDA, and Mr. Roger Monroe, who is Boat Voice, as he is known for here in San Angelo. How are you yeah. doing today? We're good. We're good. Glad good. to be here. Doing well, great. Well, we're happy to have you here. You've been here since Monday, I getting have. ready for the showdown in San Angelo happening this weekend. That is. There's, there's quite a bit of preparation in this, and there's lots of volunteers and lots of people from San Angelo that put their, play a big part of this. And this is the 13th year that we're having these races here in San Angelo, which, I mean, they're a huge success every single year. Now, um, they were started by SBDA yeah. when it, they first began. SBDA started this deal. You know, there was a couple, there's several people that are racers from here and got with some people and, and started the race here. They, they run it here about three years. And then the um, Lucas Oil had come in and joined with us and they took it over. And it was a, it was a bigger production. And that was the... What was there, and, and last year when Lucas finished this race here, they uh, decided to uh, uh, endeavor in other places and, and do other things, and so it was opportunity for us to come back. And after several trips to San Angelo and meeting with the uh, the council and the city and the parks and and the pe all, everybody that's involved in that, and uh, glad to have it back here, you know. And I mean, we we thought we was gonna, this race wasn't going to happen, and there's lots of people that have helped me with this, and. Uh, appreciate it for sure. Well, I'm sure you're excited to have your San Angelo race baby back uh, in oh, your yeah. arms. Now, are there any changes that the public can expect this year? <clears throat> you know, well, the big change to the public is that the tickets itself is about half of what they were, okay? So we've cut the tickets in, pri in, in half and to us, uh, fans are everything. We're not necessarily racing out there for the money. It's a, it's a big deal for our racers to have lots of fans and uh, so the more people we can get out there and the more people we can bring here, the better it is for the city and us. All right, and now those tickets, you can still buy them for pre-sale at uh, Joe's Ice House, uh, Bug, Express, Bug Express, and then the, the marina there at, the, at Spring Creek All RV right. that's parked there. there and actually, t the next couple of days, we got people working at the gate because our boats are coming in and registering, and so I've got a girl there at the park uh, that she, they can get tickets right there as soon as they come in the gate as well. Now, the first event will be taking place tomorrow, Show and Shine. That event is actually free to the public. That is. So tell, it, me, tell me about how that whole you know, thing is going to work. Well, the Show and Shine, what, what we'll do is if, if you come in and go toward Horseshoe, okay, is I'll line the boats up on both sides of the road with all of their exhaust pointing into the road where you'll be walking and you'll be watching and you'll be taking pictures. And I start them up very likely from here to there. And then we'll, of course, have the top fuel boat at the end. And that's 10,000 horsepower. And wow. we'll start it up sometime during the program. But then right toward the end of Show and Shine is, you know, I start them all up at the same time. And that really is some thunder. I mean, yeah. that will rock your world. <laughs> and, you know, you can bring the kids out. We'll set them in the boat, take pictures of yeah. them in the boats, let them sit in it while it's running. It's, it's, yeah. good, it's good, good excitement for the kids. Yeah, it's kind of a meet and greet. And the, yeah. the kids can meet them, the fans as well can meet the drivers. And, um, you know, and they got stuff, pictures are usually there that they autograph and give. Yeah, they can the collect our trading stuff. cards. Yeah. We'll autograph our trading cards yeah. from them. They can start a trading card collection. And the great thing about this is it's a really great family friendly event. It is. You know, and I, I take, we take a lot of pride in that. Is, is drag boat racing is uh, there's there's not another sport like it. I promise you. It's uh, it's if if I got part, if I'm out of the if I'm racing and one of my buddies needs something that I got, I'm going to give it because it's about the show to us. Now you two travel throughout the southern U.S. for all these boat races. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me what is it about San Angelo that you love when you come here? The hospitality. The, you know, the city rolls out the red carpet. They do. You uh, you have a very proactive city here you know they see that this race puts a couple million dollars into the local economy over the weekend the hotels love it the restaurants the yeah. service stations love it everybody and the, the, the people love it hot out here I mean it's they, they greet us with open arms this events had a lot of the same sponsors over the same years and I mean that that it tells itself I mean you get the same people coming back to sponsor an event it's, it's because it was good to them as well now you've actually been racing for for a long time. You know, uh, I have. You, you, I, were, you I, were racing. Yeah, um, I, uh, I started out in, in racing motorcycles and dirt cars and stuff like that, and then it was. Uh I got in, and being from, I grew up as a kid watching drag boat racing, being from Marble Falls. Marble Falls had boat races there for 26 years. And um, last year was the first year we hadn't had one. We do have it coming back in 2020, have it on the schedule. Uh, had it on the schedule this year and the floods in Marble Falls and some delays and some repairs to the park. We couldn't get it pulled off, but um, we're looking forward to it. I, I you know, I raced for 
20 years myself probably and and it's um daughter races now and i still own a couple boats but uh I found a, something else and just trying to promote the sport. That's what I, I enjoy doing. Now, for those who have never been to uh, one of these races, what is what is the thing you can tell them to encourage them to come on out and check these out? You know, if you've never been to a drag boat race, there, there's no way to really explain it. it. It sells itself, okay? Like I said, if, you, if a person can ever get out there, they'll forget how hot it is. They'll forget what, you know, it's a... Uh, it's, it's a different sport, it's, it, it, for sure. It's not car racing, it's drag boat racing, and these are beautiful machines, and, um, and, and they'll shake the ground. It's one where you, you buy one ticket and you get everything. Yeah. You, you go to the pits, you can watch them rebuild the motors, re get the boats ready for the next round, and, I mean, it's, you, it, it's a one-ticket, full-package deal. Yep. Right. And you can come, like, right where I announced from. Uh, I just stand right in the middle of the crowd and announce, so you can come up and talk to me, and I'll show yep. you how our timing equipment works. I try to explain everything, because, you know, the people on the beach, you can watch two boats go down there, but, okay, what are they doing going down mm -hmm. there? Well, this is what they're doing, and I, I take the time to explain that. So. All right, sure. well, it's going to be a great event. You know, once again, the first event will be taking place tomorrow, beginning at 6.30 p.m. That's Show and Shine. It is free to the public, and the races, you can find tickets for those um, at Joe's Ice House, Bug Express, and the Marina. Thank you guys so much for joining us today. We, we hey, appreciate yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I'll hey, see you guys appreciate. tomorrow, too. I'll be out there live at 6 o'clock. Yeah, you've That's never awesome. been the one. This is going to be good. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be awesome. Thank you guys so much for joining <laughs> Thank us. You. Enjoy. <laughs> hey, I'll be right back with more CV Live after the break. Don't change that channel.